Learn German games. Let's try to give him the mold we just made. Hey Curtis, meinst du, du kannst das als Form verwenden? Hmm. Hey, was für eine hübsche Form. Was ist das? Ein Kerzenhalter? Eigentlich arbeite ich ja mit Holz, aber weißt du... Actually, I work with wood, but you know... Ja here does not mean yes, it just means indeed. Ja, yeah, it has this kind of feeling. Das Holz means wood. Das Holz? The wood, correct. Hello and welcome to LearnGermanGames.com, the only place where you learn German with games live. So if you're not watching this live, make sure to subscribe and click that bell button to get notified the next time we go live. This way you'll be able to chat with us, react to this crazy game we are playing and ask your questions about German. Now during the stream you will see smart subtitles. German nouns are colored based on their grammatical gender. Masculine nouns are colored in blue. Feminine nouns are colored in red and neuter nouns are colored in orange to help you remember that challenging aspect of German. Now for grammar, you will also have the accusative case colored in purple, the dative case in red and the genitive case in brown. Now if you don't know what those are, that's okay, ask me in the comments and I'll help you out. And in addition to the subtitles, we will also be adding words from the game to a vocabulary list and at the end, we'll be doing simple exercises to help you remember them, like matching and fill in the blanks. So make sure to stick until the very end to benefit the most. Knowing that, let's start. So well, last time we were talking to the father here, and um, today we're going to go talk to Curtis, the guy that used to work with wood and now works with metal. Uh, because we were able to um, to get uh, a kind of mold, a mold for a device that we need to repair a ship, if you remember. Um, so we're going to try to uh, make an actual object out of this mold. And hopefully Curtis will be able to help us out. Wir reden mit Curtis. Glaubst du, du kannst einen Strahlenschutzanzug für mich herstellen? Nö, ich mach doch keine Textilien. Aber wenn du nach einer guten Schneiderin suchst, dann würde ich mal in Wolkenheim nachfragen. Da machen sie tolle Sachen mit Federn. Also weißt du, wenn man auf sowas steht. Gut, viel Spaß noch mit den Metallarbeiten. Bis dann, Shay. All right, let's try to uh, give him the mold. Hey Curtis, meinst du, du kannst das als Form verwenden? Hmm. Hey, was für eine hübsche Form. Was ist das? Ein Kerzenhalter? Es ist eine Supra... Kerzenhalter verkaufen sich wie irre. Und wenn das ein Kerzenhalter ist, kann ich es für eine Form verwenden. Es ist ein super Kerzenhalter. Cool, dann probieren wir das aus. Zieh leine, Kätzchen. Bitte nicht wieder eine Katze. Bitte nicht wieder. Perfekt. Und du meinst, dass das Ding wirklich gut Strom leitet? Nun, für einen Kerzenhalter ist das zwar ziemlich egal, aber basierend auf den verwendeten Metallen eindeutig ja. Danke. Du bekommst die erste. Schließlich wollen wir einen fairen Handel für diese irre Form abschließen, die mich verdammt reich machen wird. Äh, was mich natürlich nur insofern interessiert, als dass ich mich selbst als Künstler besser verwirklichen kann. Danke, Curtis. Es war mir eine große Freude, Geschäfte, äh, ich wollte sagen, Kunst mit dir zu machen. Alright, Explanation Time. Verärgertes Murmeln abgeschnitten. We always see the sentence whenever we get past this tree. Annoyed muttering cut off. Glaubst du, du kannst einen Strahlenschutzanzug für mich herstellen? Do you think you can make a radiation suit for me? 
Der Strahlenschutzanzug as a radiation suit. You can cut up the word into multiple ones. Strahlen are radiations. Schutz is protection. Anzug is suit. Herstellen in this context is to make, but more precisely, it's to manufacture. It's not just to make in general. Herstellen. Also notice the colors of the accusative. You have einen here. Mix an N because Strahlenschutzanzug is masculine. And after für, you have also the accusative. That's why you say für mich and not mir. Nö, ich mach doch keine Textilien. Aber wenn du nach einer guten Schneiderin suchst. Nope, I don't make textiles. But if you're looking for a good seamstress. Die Schneiderin is a female tailor, a tailoress or a seamstress. That's just to make it uh, easier. I'm just gonna write female tailor. Uh, notice also in German how when you're searching for something, you search towards, because generally when you're searching, you're not sure where the object is, so it's a general direction. This is why you use nach, and einer takes an er, because Schneiderin is feminine. And remember the adjectives in the dative case take an en. Yeah. Dann würde ich mal in Wolkenheim nachfragen. Da machen sie tolle Sachen mit Federn. Then I would ask in Cloud Home. There they make great things with feathers. Cloud Home is just the name of the um, clouds you were talking about, we were walking on. <laughs> nachfragen is to inquire. So think of it as uh, asking afterwards. Ja, nachfragen. If you're constantly asking uh, one question after another or asking after the fact, you're inquiring. Die Feder is a feather. Dann würde ich mal in Wolkenheim nachfragen. The mal here does not add any meaning. He's just making the statement uh, a bit of a nice suggestion. Yeah, mal is often used in that way. Also weißt du, wenn man auf sowas steht. So, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. In German, to say you're into something, you literally say to stand on it. Here, so was is like saying so etwas. In spoken German, etwas is often replaced by was. Yeah. So something like that, like that, yeah. Auf so etwas steht or auf so was steht is to be into that kind of thing. Gut, viel Spaß noch mit den Metallarbeiten. Good, well, have fun with the metal work. Remember that in plural nouns take an N and the data. That's why we have Arbeiten. Metallurgie für den Heimwerker. Metallurgie for the do-it-yourselfer. This is what's written on the box here. Bis dann, Shay. See you, Shay. That's the name of the boy. Hey, Curtis, meinst du, du kannst das als Form verwenden? Hey Curtis, do you think you can use that as a form? Verwenden is to use. This is the most standard way to say to use. Hmm. Holz der Teufel. <laughs> Wood of the devil. I don't know why it's written there. That's funny. Hey, was für eine hübsche Form. Was ist das? Ein Kerzenhalter? Hey, what a pretty shape. What is that? A candlestick? Der Kerzenhalter is a candlestick. Literally, a candle's holder. Um, yeah, it's not supposed to be a candle holder. Obviously, it's the uh, piece we need to repair the ship. But if that's what he thinks, that's what he thinks. Doesn't matter. Es ist eine Supra. It's a Supra. Kerzenhalter verkaufen sich wie irre. Und wenn das ein Kerzenhalter ist, kann ich es für eine Form verwenden. Candlesticks sell like crazy. 
And if this is a candlestick, I can use it for a mold. Irre is crazy. So the irre like crazy. Uh, so this is the only way we're going to get him to make the form. Es ist ein super Kettenhalter. It's a super candle holder. So he changed what he wanted to say. A little lie here. Cool, dann probieren wir das aus. Zieh Leine, Kettchen. Cool, let's try that out. Get lost, kitten. So he's talking to a kitten because uh, he was constantly making uh, kittens using the molds. If you remember the molds he ordered online. Or uh, not online, somewhere. But he's talking about this cat here. Yeah. Um, and it's here, Lina. It's just an expression to mean get lost. Ausprobieren, hopefully you already know it, means to try out. Bitte nicht wieder eine Katze, bitte nicht wieder! Please, not again a cat. This is the literal translation. A better one would be, not a cat again, please not again. He said this while trying, while getting the, um, um, the result out of the form, the shape. Perfect. Und du meinst, dass das Ding wirklich gut Strom leitet? Perfect. And you think, in this case, meinen, the verb to mean, means to think. You have to know it from context. So you think this thing conducts electricity really well. Lighten, in this case, means to conduct. And remember that we need the thing to fix the ship, so it needs to be conductive. Der Strom is electricity. And remember that whenever the S comes before a T in German, it's pronounced like SH. So make sure to say Strom. Nun, für einen Kerzenhalter ist das zwar ziemlich egal, aber basierend auf den verwendeten Metallen eindeutig ja. Well, for a candlestick, it pretty much doesn't matter, but based on the metals used, clearly yes. Noon, whenever, as, uh, whenever it starts with a sentence, noon means yes, mm, yeah, it's just uh, there to bring uh, the attention to somebody to the conversation. Zwar is like saying namely, yeah, it doesn't uh, add like a meaning, and uh, you just have uh, a feeling for how it uh, sounds, how it changes uh, the, uh, the intention of the speaker. It's hard to translate, but the closest thing you can get is namely. Eindeutig means uh, clearly. Eindeutig, so clearly, yes. And just like we said before, metal takes an N here because it's plural and the plurals in native take an N. Danke! Du bekommst die Erste. Schließlich wollen wir einen fairen Handel für diese irre Form abschließen, die mich verdammt reich machen wird. You got the first one. So he's talking about the first uh, object he made from the mold. Uh, um, so bekommen, maybe you don't know it. Bekommen is to get or to receive because the verb to get has so many meanings in English, just to make it clear. Schließlich in this context means after all. So after all, we want to make a fair deal for this crazy shape that will make me filthy rich. Der Handel is a deal. You can see here there's a lot of ENs, einen fairen Handel, because this is the accusative case, and Handel is masculine because it ends with EL. Irre, we just saw it before, it's crazy. Abschließen, this is the verb you use with making a deal. So in this context it means make, yeah, uh, but in general it means to conclude. So in German you say to conclude a deal. Einen Handel abschließen. Whenever you learn a new noun like Handel, look it up in the dictionary and see what kind of verbs it's generally used with, because it's probably not the same kind of verb you use in English. Yeah. 
D here is um, is uh, is referring to form. Yeah, you can see it from the feminine. Die mich verdammt reich machen wird. So this form or this uh, mold is gonna make me damn rich. Eh, was mich natürlich nur insofern interessiert, als dass ich mich selbst als Künstler besser verwirklichen kann. So he doesn't want to admit that he's doing it for the money. Um, which of course only interests me in so far as I can better realize myself as an artist. Insofern can mean in this respect or in so far as. Insofern. Der Künstler as an artist. And sich verwirklichen. Is to realize oneself or be fulfilled. Yeah. To be realized. Danke, Curtis. Es war, es war mir eine große Freude, Geschäfte, äh, ich wollte sagen, Kunst mit dir zu machen. Thank you, Curtis. It was a great pleasure doing business. Uh, I was going to say art with you. So he's uh, going along with a white light. Das Geschäft is business. It's nur because it starts with an E and uh, it starts with a GE, sorry, and no other rule applies. The Kunst is art and it's feminine. Um, okay, endlich haben wir was wir brauchen. Wir kehren jetzt zurück. Wir müssen zurück zum Schiff. Das Schiff, das wie eine Pyramide aussieht. Ich kann es nicht glauben. Das ist doch nicht wahr, was ich hier auch das ist ja mein Land von Landen. So we're gonna go back to the so-called alien now that has a ship that looks like a pyramid. And um, give him the piece he needs to fix the ship. Bitte schön, eine supraleitende Gyroskop Hypercam, wie bestellt. Hey, die sieht ja noch besser aus als meine alte. Die sandähnliche Oberfläche passt wirklich zur leitfähigen Fläche. Brillant! Oh ja, das ist eine sehr aktuelle Entwicklung bei Hypercams. Bitte schön, eine supraleitende Gyroskop Hypercam, wie bestellt. Here you go, a superconducting gyroscope hypercam as ordered. So that's just the name of the contraption. Bestellen is to order, like ordering delivery. And bitte schön, in this context, it's here you go. So whenever you go to a restaurant or you order something, this is what the person tells you. Uh, whenever they hand you over whatever you ordered, bitte schön. Hey, die sieht ja noch besser aus als meine alte. Hey. It looks even better than my old one. In this case, because he emphasized with D, a better translation would be this one. Yeah, uh, looks better than my old one. And notice how the uh, separable verb aussehen is marked with the uh, dashes here. So always notice the dashes whenever uh, you read those uh, smart subtitles to help you recognize new separable verbs. Die sandähnliche Oberfläche passt wirklich zur leitfähigen Fläche. Brillant! The sand-like finish really matches the conductive surface. Brilliant! Sandähnlich, you can see sand is here. Ähnlich is similar. And the E is because we made this into an adjective. So sand similar surface. Die Oberfläche is a surface. 
and it's feminine because it ends with an E. Passen is to fit. So this is the verb here, passen. And leitfähigen is literally conduction capable. You remember a few minutes ago we used the verb leiten to conduct and fähig is capable. The en is because this is an adjective used in the dative. Remember the dative is in green. And fläche is also a surface. So to be more precise, oberfläche is more of an upper surface if you want. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Oh ja, das ist eine sehr aktuelle Entwicklung bei Hypercams. Oh yes, this is a very recent development with Hypercams. Die Entwicklung is development and it's feminine because it ends with UNG. And now it's your time to read. If you're watching this video, just mute it and try to read yourself whenever you participate more actively. You will remember more and uh, if you can't or you're still a beginner <laughs> just listen to harry my patrons is going to read right now harry bitte schön bitte schön eine eine superleitende gyroscope hypercam wie bestellt so be careful with the y's in german they sound like you with umlau so this should be gyroscope hypercam Hey, oh, Entschuldigung, du bist dran. <lacht> ja. Hey, die sieht ja noch besser aus als mein, meine Alte. Die sandänliche, sandänliche Oberfläche passt wirklich zur leitfähig Fläche. Brilliant. So generally, whenever you have words, uh, whether the adjective or nouns that are uh, made up of other words, you add a small uh, pause between them to make it clear. So it's sandähnlicher. Yeah, uh, that's why understanding is actually essential for you to be able to um, pronounce correctly. Yeah, so you, you need to be able to see the composed words as the words uh, that make it up instead of just a bunch of uh, random letters. Oh ja, das ist eine sehr aktuelle Entwicklung, Entwicklung bei Hype Hypercams. Genau. Vielen Dank, Harry. By the way, remember everybody that the vocabulary list is on the left. So keep reading them every now and then so the exercises at the end will become easier for you. Kannst du das Lied Vorheriges Ziel noch mal spielen? Siehst du, ich wusste, dass du ein Ohrwurm davon bekommst. Danke. Keine Ursache, das ist eine gute Übung für mich. Bald werde ich die brauchen. So we showed him the whistle we took last time because uh, I needed to note what he's playing. We're gonna be using this for a puzzle later. Kannst du das Lied Vorheriges Ziel nochmal spielen? Can you play the song Previous Destination again? Das Ziel in this context is Destination. Siehst du, ich wusste, dass du einen Ohrwurm davon bekommst. See, I knew it would give you an earworm. Der Ohrwurm is an uh, Certainly an earworm, but he doesn't mean an earworm. <laughs> he means a catchy tune, yeah? So I'm going to write it as catchy tune. The yeah, earworm is a catchy tune. Mittlerer Ton, medium tone. Hoher Ton, high pitched sound or tone. Tiefer Ton, low tone. Danke, thank you. Keine Ursache. Das ist eine gute Übung für mich. Bald werde ich die brauchen. You're welcome, no problem. This is a good exercise for me. Soon I will need it. If you are bored of telling people kein Problem, kein Problem, this is another way to say it. Die Ursache is like cause or reason, as in there is no reason for you to thank me. Ja, 
And to help you remember the word, look at how it's constructed. Ua is like previous um, and Zacha is a thing. So uh, the origin, if you want a better translation, should be the origin. The origin of the thing is the reason of its existence. Yeah. Das ist eine gute Übung. It's a good exercise. Übung is feminine because it ends with UNG. And this is why we refer to Übung here with D. Ja, bald werde ich D brauchen, as in the exercise, D Übung. Um, wir müssen jetzt uh, die Leiter klettern. Wir müssen also hochklettern. Die Leiter ist auf dem Dach. Das ist ein Menschenarmen. Das ist ja wohl nicht unglaublich. Ich weiß es nicht. Der Baum ist immer noch verärgert. Kann ich deine Leiter ausprobieren? Du hilfst mir, Bruder Lightbeard zu retten? Ich schau mal, was ich machen kann. Das ist sehr leicht von dir. Danke. Siehst du, du brauchst keine Angst zu haben. Warte, was passiert da? Verdammt. Und dabei sah er doch so leicht aus. Äh, Hilfe? Noch ein bisschen weiter, Feather. Das bin nicht ich. Ein Herz aus Gold, aber nie ist er zu 100% dabei, weißt du? Kann ich deine Leiter ausprobieren? Can I try your ladder? Be careful with the word Leiter. Der Leiter means a leader. Die Leiter means ladder. So it depends. The gender actually here is wrong. Um, it, it depends on uh, the context. So, yeah. Context, obviously, and what you see before it. You can see deine Leiter here. It ends with an E. This is why it's, uh, you know, it's feminine. Du hilfst mir? Bruder Lightbeard zu retten? You will help me save Brother Lightbeard? Remember that help and take three data. Ja, du hilfst mir, ich helfe dir. Ich schaue mal, was ich machen kann. I'll see what I can do. You can hear mal doesn't add a meaning, it just softens the tone, like saying a bit. Ja? Yeah? I'll show an is to see. Das ist sehr leicht von dir. Danke. That's very easy of you. Thank you. So obviously this sounds unnatural. Um, they just to have this philosophy here on the clouds where everything is supposed to be light. And this is why they use light. So this is a way for the game to be funny. Um, but don't say that in your life. Siehst du, du brauchst keine Angst zu haben. You see, you don't need to be afraid. In German, you have... Fear. You are not afraid, you have it in your pocket. The angst is feminine. Warte, was passiert da? Wait, what's happening there? Verdammt, und dabei sah er doch so leicht aus. Damn, and yet, he looked so light. Um, he is referring to his brother, Lightbeard. Uh, Hilfe? Help? Noch ein bisschen weiter, da. A little further, Feather. Das bin nicht ich. That's not me. Ach, seufz. Sei. Ein Herz aus Gold, aber nie ist er zu 100% dabei, weißt du? A heart of gold, but never 100% there, you know? As in, uh, there, uh, mentally and physically there. With the whatever he's supposed to be doing. Your turn to read, Harry, or whoever is watching, mute and read yourself. 
Kann ich deine Leiter ausprobieren? Du hilfst mir, Bruder, Lightbeard zu retten. Ich schaue mal, was ich machen kann. Das ist sehr leicht von dir. Danke. Siehst du, du brauchst keine Angst zu haben. Warte, was passiert da? Verdammt, und dabei sah er doch so leicht aus. Äh, Hilfe. Noch ein bisschen weiter. Das bin ich nicht, das bin nicht ich. Tö. Ein Herz aus Gold, aber nie ist er zu 100% dabei. Weißt du? Sehr gut, vielen Dank, Harry. Um, wir brauchen seine Hilfe. Psst, verfahr! Hallo? Kannst du Harm nie jetzt retten? Ich komme immer noch nicht an ihn ran und er ist zu erhaben, um zu springen. Hol Hilfe! Ich kann Bruder Lightbeard nicht alleine lassen. Oder seine Unterseite oder wie auch immer. Kannst du die Schleife an Harm Nies Wolke lösen? Warum sollte ich das tun? Es liegt an uns, ihn zu retten. Oh mein Gott, wie bekomme ich die Schleife auf? Kannst du mir sagen, was das für ein Knoten ist? Äh, ja, ein ziemlich komplizierter. Danke. Ah. Hallo? Kannst du Harmony jetzt retten? Can you save Harmony now? Retten is to save a life not a fight. Ich bekomme immer noch nicht an ihn ran. Und er ist zu erhaben, um zu springen. I still can't reach him. And he is too sublime to jump. Rankommen is to reach. You can also say herankommen. Erhaben is a lofty, sublime. Are inspiring, so it's a play on words. Yeah, uh, in this case, I would say lofty would be the better translation because he's literally like high up there. <laughs> um, und springen is to jump. Remember to pronounce the S like a sh because it comes before a P. Ja, springen. Hol Hilfe! Get help! Hol is uh, the imperative mode, as in the conjugation of the verb. Holen, to fetch, to get. Du bleibst hier und ich finde eine Möglichkeit, deinem Freund zu helfen. You stay here and I'll find a way to help your friend. Die Möglichkeit is a way, a possibility. Feminine because it ends with kite. Hier bleiben is a separable verb that means to stay here. And just like we said before, helfen takes the dative. This is why he says deinem with an M. Ich kann Bruder Lightbeard nicht alleine lassen. I can't leave Brother Lightbeard alone. Oder seine Unterseite, oder wie auch immer. Or his underside, or whatever. Die Unterseite is underside, feminine, because it ends with an E. And uh, to say whatever is wie auch immer. This is one way to say whatever. Kannst du die Schleife an Harmonies Wolke lösen? Can you break the loop on Harmonies uh, cloud? Or if you want to be more precise, can you loosen? In this context, the verb lösen means to loosen, not necessarily to break off. It all depends on context, of course, but uh, in this context, I think loosen would be more appropriate. Die Schleife means uh, the loop, or the knot, or the bow, the ribbon, uh, let's say the bow tie. And it's feminine because it ends with an E. Warum sollte ich das tun? 
Why should I do that? Es liegt an uns, ihn zu retten. It's up to us to save him. Notice the preposition we are using here. It lies on us. Prepositions can be hard to master because they're different in each language. So every, every time we see them, try to create a mental connection between the verb or the expression and uh, the preposition we're using with it. Oh my God! Wie bekomme ich die Schleife auf? Oh my God! How do I get the loop open? Aufbekommen is not just to open. It's to manage to open, as in you're going to have to make an effort to do it. Now, remember when something is auf, it means it's open. And bekommen on its own means to get. So, uh, just like in English, to get something to open means you have to put an effort into it. Uh, in this case, it's a separable verb in German, aufbekommen. Kannst du mir sagen, was das für ein Knoten ist? Can you tell me what that knot is, as in what kind of knot this is? Der Knoten. Was für is what kind of. Whenever you see was für ein something, means what kind of. Äh, ja, ein ziemlich komplizierter. Ja, a rather complicated one. Danke. That wasn't very helpful. Ich bin sicher, es ist einfacher, als es aussieht. Versuch es. Ich versuch's. Oh, we have to tell him how to do that. Mm -hmm. Zieh an den einzelnen Strängen. Was? Na gut. Verdammt, das war eine schlechte Idee. Ah, wie sieht es denn jetzt aus? Nun, äh... Wie ein neuer, unlösbarer Knoten. Das hat gar nicht gut funktioniert. Ich bin sicher, es ist einfacher, als es aussieht. Versuche es. I am sure it's easier than it looks. Try it. Ich versuch's. I'm trying or I'll try it. Zieh an den einzelnen Strängen. Pull on the individual strands. Der Strang is a strand. And C is the verb ziehen in the imperative mode. So he's telling him what to do. Ziehen. Was? No good. Well, alright. Verdammt, das war eine schlechte Idee. Damn, this was a bad idea. Ah, wie sieht es denn jetzt aus? Ah, how does it look now? Wie ein neuer, unlösbarer Knoten. Like a new, untieable knot. Unlösbar is literally indissoluble. But um, in this case, it means untieable because we're talking about a knot. Fährst du herausfinden, wie du mich hier herunterbekommst? Are you going to figure out how to get me down here? Herausfinden, to figure out. Herunterbekommen is to get down or to manage to get down. Yeah, just like aufbekommen is to manage to get open. Weint. Wise. Your turn to read Harry. Ich bin sicher, es ist einfacher als, als es aussieht. Versuche es. Ich versuch's. By the way, everybody, the apostrophe S here is just uh, the spoken way of saying S. So there's a missing E here, but it's very typical. Ich versuche es. And if you want to be even more technical, there's two missing E. It's supposed to be Ich versuche es. Yeah, den einzelnen Strängen. Genau. And uh, notice here the N because of the plural in the dative case and the EN for the adjectives. Was? Na gut. Verdammt, das war eine schlechte Idee. Ah, was sieht es denn jetzt aus? Wie? Ha. Wie? Wie? Ja. Wie ein neuer unlösbarer Knoten. Knoten, there's no umlaut here. Knoten. 
wirst du, wirst du herausfinden, wie du mich hier herunter bekommst? Vielen Dank, Harry. Ähm, wir müssen also eine Lösung dafür finden. Warum schwebt diese große Wolke eigentlich? Sie schwebt wie alle anderen Wolken auch. An meiner Wolke ist nichts Besonderes. Ähm. Warum kletterst du nicht einfach runter? Meine Beine sind ganz verkümmert, so lange habe ich sie nicht gebraucht. Wow. Wie lange bist du denn schon da oben? Erst seit heute Morgen. Mit verkümmert meinte ich nur, dass sie sehr, sehr steif sind. Warum bleibst du nicht einfach da oben? Ich muss zur Teezeit wieder zurück auf meiner Wolke sein. Wenn die Brunnenkresse-Sandwiches zu lange an der Luft bleiben, dann wird das Brot außen so hart. Fast wie eine zweite Kruste. Und dann muss mir der Koch neue machen. Und das ist ihm gegenüber wirklich nicht fair. Ich versuche hochzukommen, aber ich schaffe es nicht. Hast du nicht etwas, auf das du dich draufstellen kannst? Weißt du, wo ich einen hochleistungsfähigen Anti-Schwerkraftschubantrieb herbekomme? Hey Mann, was willst du damit sagen? Ich bin überhaupt nicht schwer. Ich, ich dachte nur, du scheinst dich ja mit Schwerkraft auszukennen. Bitte, meine Leichtigkeit kommt aus dem Inneren. Okay, bis später. Warum schwebt diese große Wolke eigentlich? Why is this big cloud actually hovering? Schweben is to hover. Die Wolke, in case you don't know it, is a cloud feminine because it ends with an E. Sie schwebt wie alle anderen Wolken auch. An meine Wolke ist nichts Besonderes. So obviously it's trying to hide something. It floats like all other clouds. There is nothing special about my cloud. Warum kletterst du nicht einfach runter? Why don't you just uh, climb down? Runterklettern oder herunterklettern ist to climb down. Meine Beine sind ganz verkümmert. So lange habe ich sie nicht gebraucht. My legs are all atrophied. I didn't need them that long or... To be more precise, I haven't used them for a very long time. This is what he's implying. Verkümmern generally means to waste away, but in the context of um, legs here, he means atrophied, so they become very weak. Wow, wie lange bist du denn schon da oben? Wow, how long have you been up there? Erst seit heute Morgen. Only since this morning. So erst, uh, even though technically it means first, when you use it in this way, it means only or isn't just. Just this morning. Yeah? Erst seit heute Morgen. Mit verkümmert meine ich nur, dass sie sehr, sehr steif sind. With stunted or atrophied, I just mean that they are very, very stiff. Steif? Remember to pronounce the ST like SH. Yeah, because the S become, uh, is before a T. And uh, notice how then the conjugated verb is at the end because of das. Das sie, bla 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 bla, sind. Warum bleibst du nicht einfach da oben? Why don't you just stay up there? Ich muss zur Teezeit wieder zurück auf meine Wolke sein. I have to be back on my cloud by tea time. Die Teezeit is tea time. Um, he's very fancy. Wenn die Brunnenkresse Sandwiches zu lange an der Luft bleiben, dann wird das Brot außen so hart, fast wie eine zweite Kruste. If the watercress sandwiches stay too long in the air, then the bread becomes so hard on the outside, almost like a second crust. Um, he's making me hungry with all these descriptions. Die Luft is air, uh, das Brot, everybody knows it, I'm sure. Uh, but die Kruste is a crust from them because it ends with an E. Und dann muss mir der Koch neue machen, und das ist ihm gegenüber wirklich nicht fair. And then the cook has to make me a new ones, 
and that's really not fair to him as in uh, fair towards him yeah this is how you say it was is das ist ihm gegenüber would be dative case um let's actually add it gegenüber literally means opposite Ich versuche hochzukommen, aber ich schaffe es nicht. I'm trying to get up, but I can't make it. Hast du nicht etwas, auf das du dich draufstellen kannst? Don't you have something to stand on top of? Weißt du, wo ich einen hochleistungsfähigen Antischwerkraftschubantrieb äh, herbekomme? Do you know where I can get a high performance anti gravity thruster? So, this is another one of those uh, gadgets that we need for um, our spaceship. We took that word before. Hochleistungsfähig is high performance. Die anti schwerkraft anti gravity. Yeah, but common, you can translate it as to get, but more precisely, is to get a hold of. Hey man, was willst du damit sagen? Ich bin überhaupt nicht schwer. Hey man, what do you uh, what do you mean by that? I'm not heavy at all. So he's implying um, that he only asked this question needing an anti-gravity because how else would he float on a cloud? So obviously there is uh, something hidden under that cloud where he's sitting. We will probably find what we need there, but we have to get him down first. Ich, ich dachte nur, du scheinst dich ja mit Schwerkraft aufzukennen. I just, I just thought you seem to know a lot about gravity or to know your way around gravity. Uh, sich mit etwas auskennen means to know one's way around something. We've seen this quite a few times. Hopefully you're starting to remember it. You really do need to see a word in many different contexts to remember it. Die Schwerkraft is gravity. Bitte, meine Leichtigkeit kommt aus dem Inneren. Please, my lightness comes from within. Die Leichtigkeit is lightness, feminine, because it ends with kite. And um, das Innere is the inner. So I'm not going to add it, it's easy to remember. Okay, bis später. Okay, see you later. Uh, Kimberly, the commands don't work on YouTube. They only work on Twitch. I haven't implemented them for <laughs> for YouTube yet. Uh, for everybody that hasn't watched me on Twitch yet, follow me on Twitch because uh, we are. I'm streaming there almost every day. I'm going to send you the link in chat, actually. Uh, and there's commands in the chat on Twitch for you to be able to do translations. This is why Kimberly was trying to use it here. With exclamation mark C. Um, I just sent you the link in the chat if you want to follow me there. Um, you got a lot more practice in German. Harmony! <laughs> hmm. You have to get off this ladder though. <laughs> Hör auf zu weinen. Nicht weinen. We already know that Carol knows uh, her way around knots. So we should actually ask her. She probably knows how to uh, help us. And... Um, yeah, we'll go back to untie these crazy knots there. You remember she was trying to uh, to do something with the fishes. She's a fisherwoman. Is there such a word in English? Let me know in chat or in the comments. <laughs> yeah, that's Carol. Um... But I see we are almost out of time, so we'll talk to Carol next time. For now, we're gonna do the exercises uh, to help us 
remember all these words we have seen today. <laughs> if you are new to learn German games, it's easy to participate. Just send me the numbers on the left corresponding to the ones on the right. Uh, the left ones are German, the right ones are English. Obviously, we've seen all of those today. Uh, let's see how many you remember and don't be afraid of making mistakes. Um, it's part of the learning process. Harry says 112 the Schneider. 112? Are you sure? <coughs> Nein, das war falsch. Susan sagt 611 herstellen to manufacture. Sehr gut. Kimberly sagt 1017. Uh, die Feder. The feather. Sehr gut. Harry says uh, 115. Die Schneiderei, die Schneid, die Schneiderin, what am I saying? <laughs> die Schneiderin, the female tailor, um, sehr gut, friendly Jean as well. Kimberly sagt 412, ausprobieren, to try out. Rada sagt 318, der Strahlenschutzanzug, the radiation suit. Friendly Ian sagt 22, irre, crazy, sehr gut. Um, Harry sagt 5, 16, Harry is with me on Zoom hier. Der Kerzenhalter, the candlestick. Rada sagt 8, 14, das Kätzchen, the kitten. Rada sagt 913 Nachfragen to inquire and verwenden to use. Same exercise now with short sentences. We saw some of them today in the game and some of them are just generally a useful sentence for you to learn. So hopefully you will remember some of them. If you don't know them, if they're too hard, try to read them with us so you remember them for next time. Sarada sagt 19,19. There's no 19,19. Susan sagt 9,17. Es ist wirklich teuer. It's really expensive. Sarada sagt 10,19. Ich versuch's. I'm trying. Um, Harry sagt 2,13. Zieh an den einzelnen Strängen. Pull on the individual strands. Rada und Kimberly sagen 10. Ah, das haben wir schon gemacht. Uh, Rada sagt 2, 13. Um, Harry sagt das auch. Das habe ich schon gemacht. Already did that. Kimberly sagt 6, 14. Das bin nicht ich. That's not for me. Harry sagt 1, 20. Ich habe es repariert. I fixed it. Susan sagt 5, 6, 10. Warum sollte ich das tun? Why should I do that? Sarada sagt 3, 15. Was passiert da? What's happening there? Harry sagt 7, 18. Ich bin ganz zufrieden. I'm quite satisfied. Susan sagt das auch. Wir haben zwei Sätze noch. Susan sagt 4, 12. Das ist wohl zu schwer für dich. That's probably too difficult for you. Kann ich deine Leiter ausprobieren? Can I try out your ladder? Fill in the blanks. You have to fill in the blanks, not just with the words you're seeing here. If it's a verb, you have to conjugate it based on the sentence. If it's a noun, you might need to make it plural. Meine Beine sind, sind ganz etwas. So lange habe ich sie nicht gebraucht. Sehr gut, Rada verkümmert. Meine Beine sind ganz verkümmert, so lange habe ich sie nicht gebraucht. Kerzenhalter verkaufen sich wie etwas. Und wenn das ein Kerzenhalter ist, kann ich es für eine Form verwenden. Was fehlt denn hier? 
Irre, sehr gut, Harry und Susan. Crazy. Candlesticks sell like crazy. Verkaufen sich wie irre. This is the part that's important for you to remember. Bitte. Meine etwas kommt aus dem Inneren. So this is uh, Lightbeard saying this, the guy on the clouds, what did he say? He was offended. Next says Harry, das ist falsch, Susan hat recht. Meine Leichtigkeit kommt aus dem Inneren. My lightness comes from within. Siehst du, ich wusste, dass du einen etwas davon bekommst. This is the alien saying this after he played a bit of music. Yeah, Harry and Susan sent the same answer at the same time and Verda as well. They are all warm. The catchy tune. Und dann muss mir der Koch neue machen. Und das ist ihm etwas wirklich nicht fair. What is missing here? Gegenüber sehr gut Susan und Varda. Das ist ihm gegenüber wirklich nicht fair. This is the part that's nice to remember. That's really not fair to him. Flashcards. How do you say to try out in German? Ausprobieren sehr gut Varda und Susan. How do you say to manufacture? Herstellen. Sehr gut. Rada und Susan. Und was ist das? What is this? Hopefully it's clear. Remember to give me the gender of nouns as well. Das Kätzchen, sehr gut, Rada und Susan, you're doing a great job today. Oh, was ist das? I think this is a new word for you. Ein neues Wort für euch. Ja, das Kätzchen war tatsächlich süß, Kimberly. Der Kerzenhalter, sehr gut, Rada. To inquire in German. Nachfragen, sehr gut, Susan und Larda. Und was ist das hier? What is this here? Not the person, what the, what the person's wearing. What is this outfit? Let me help you out. Oh, you don't, you don't need any help. Larda remembers. <laughs> Der Strahlenschutzanzug. Crazy. How do you say crazy in German? There's many ways, of course, you can say verrückt, but what's the word we have learned today? Irre, sehr gut, Susan. The female tailor. Yeah, sometimes your uh, chat messages arrive a bit late here, depending on your speed, uh, the speed of your internet connection. Yeah. Die Schneiderin, sehr gut, Rada. 
To use in German the most standard way, of course you can say benutzen, but what's another way to say it? A bit uh, slightly more formal than benutzen. Verwenden, sehr gut, da. Und was ist das? This is a word that could mean two things. You can see both things, what it could mean. You are almost correct. The, the word is correct, but the gender was wrong. Die Feder, which means both a feather or a spring. Ordering of words. This is a sentence we have seen in the game, and your mission is to put it in the right order. I know German word order can be quite different. Let's see how well you do in this one. Remember, the first word has to be capitalized. I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. It's just for you uh, to actually think about what you are reading and listening to. So what's the first word here? You don't have to write the whole sentence. You can send me word by word. But Susan wrote the whole thing. Kann ich deine Leiter ausprobieren? Sehr gut. Can I try out your ladder? A longer sentence now for you. Glaubst du? Correct. We start with these two. Glaubst du? Du. Actually, the other do, not this one, the one with the comma. Du. Kannst. Everybody is sure that it's uh, mich or für mich. Uh, let me give you a tip. You're all wrong. Because <laughs> otherwise it's going to take us too long. Du kannst einen Strahlenschutzanzug. And then für mich herstellen. Do you think you can make a radiation suit for me? Another sentence, another challenge. So remember the first word has to be capitalized, shouldn't be that hard. This is what the boy said when he was on the ladder. Ich versuche. What is he trying to do? Hochzukommen. Sehr gut. Rada. Aber ich schaffe es nicht. Nice teamwork. I'm trying to get up, but I can't make it. Next sentence. Well, we only have one capitalized word, so I'm just going to click it. Wirst du herausfinden. Correct for now. Rather now, what? Uh, do we have next? Wie du mich hier herunterbekommst. Ja, ja. Are you going to figure out how to get me down here? Next uh, that's next sentence. Yeah, we have one capitalized word without a period, so I'm just going to start with it. Sie an den einzelnen Strängen. Sehr gut, Rada. Pull on the individual strands. And that was our game for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video. And if you still have any questions, ask them in the comments below.